What's up guys, Muzzlefuzzle here, and I'm back with another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay commentary. Now before you click away from me saying that, for you guys that don't like Black Ops, uh, this should be actually pretty cool to watch, because this is some footage from the Commentator Showdown, which was a series of uh, private match free-for-alls played on Black Ops, and uh, there was a $1,500 prize for first place, a $1,000 prize for second place, and I think a, a $500 prize for third place. So uh, there was money on the line, there was lots of familiar faces, uh, commentators involved. Uh, we got Woody's Gamer Tag was in here, Sandy Ravage was in here, T-Mart, uh, Holiday Doc, The Game 360, Mark of J, um, Syndicate was in here, all sorts of people that you should recognize from uh, around the community, and uh, it was it was lots of good games. It was lots of fun. Um, so for this game, I decided that I would pull out the sniper rifle because I wanted to I wanted to quick scope some face. I wanted to get some footage of me quick scoping uh, other commentators that you guys watch on YouTube. So I got a quick scope on Sandy Ravage as you saw. His gamer tag is Akimbo Slice, and he was doing work this game. I think he comes in. Uh, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you, but uh, he did pretty damn beast this game. Um, and, uh, man, there's just, some of these guys are some of the most solid players I've ever seen. Now, I wasn't very warmed up, like, for, uh, I'm, I'm not using this as an excuse or anything, but I, I don't play Black Ops as much as these guys, for sure. So, as far as, uh, the competitive aspect, I knew I wasn't going to win this tournament. I wasn't going for the money, and, uh, by the time this, this game came around, which was, like, the third or fourth game in the series, I was like, fuck it, I'll snipe, because I think it would be, uh, more fun to snipe, it'll make for a more interesting video, and, uh, I was the only person using a sniper rifle in this game. Everyone else was either using a Moss, I see some AK-74U, um, some AK-47, some Galil, um, but basically mostly assault rifles uh, as far as that goes and, and lots of just amazing players. All the guys in here are very, very solid players and uh, it was cool seeing them just put in the work and, and just rape face because, uh, man, people, the people who came out on top, the people who won this tournament, they are beasts. They play Black Ops like nobody I've ever seen before. They know how to play the spawns, they know what they're doing, they're perfect aim with their FAMAS, like, it was a good time. Um, so as far as uh, the, the commentator showdown goes, it was a lot of fun. I hope that we do more. Um, if you guys want to see more commentator showdowns where, where all your favorite YouTube channels kind of compete, oh, fucking T-Mart, get quickscoped, son. He was trying to drop shot me there, and I quickscope headshotted him. God, oh, that was one of the highlights of this game for sure. That was amazing. I think I turned on him later in this game, too, so... Uh, lots of cool clips in here like that. Lots of me uh, taking people's heads off with sniper rifles. Even though I did, I went really negative. But I mean, I was in a, I was in a game against the best players on YouTube, uh, all using like Famases and stuff. So uh, I thought this gameplay was pretty good for, uh, for what I was using. I'm using the PSG one with uh, extended mags, and I was just running around Ghost, Steady Aim, and Ninja trying to get quick scopes, hit marking people a lot. I think there's quite a few hit markers actually in this game because. Uh, Man, I just, I really don't like the sniping in Black Ops. Like, I, uh, as far as this summer goes, and all the way leading up to Modern Warfare 3, basically, uh, after this new map pack is out, the map pack 3, um, Annihilation, I'm gonna cover some videos on that, I'm gonna do some high rollers on the new maps, and I'm gonna cover the new Zombies map, but, uh, after that is done, I'm not gonna be doing any more Black Ops multiplayer, I'm not gonna play it. What I do have is I have lots of games stocked up, so I have quite a few gameplays stockpiled, uh, for me to commentate over, so there's, there will still be Black Ops gameplay commentaries, I just won't be actually playing the game. I'm going to be playing lots of other games on lots of different systems, I'm going to be playing my Nintendo 64, my PS2, the Wii, I'm going to be playing the Xbox, the PS3, all sorts of different games, and I'm going to be doing lots and lots of uh, my Muzzafuzza Plays series, which is where I'm going to be just doing live commentaries on random games. Uh, to kind of kind of relive the old games, get some nostalgia going, and, and just play some games that you don't really see gameplay commentaries on that often. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, uh, the the money aspect, as far as uh, competitive gaming, I love it. I love watching people play for money. I think it really it brings out the beasts and uh, it makes people try their asses off. And it's it's awesome to see competitive play when you know that there's money on the line. Now, there was $1,500 going to the winner of this tournament, so people were people were trying, people were preparing uh, for weeks in advance, playing lots of free-for-alls. Um, I myself played like one night of free-for-all beforehand, just trying to get the feel for the spawns, but I have never played Black Ops free-for-all. So, I mean, I came into this tournament, I knew I wasn't going to win. And, uh, you know, the, the guys that were in here, they're fucking the best players on YouTube. They hold some KDs above, like, they have, like, over 5.0 KDs. They never lose a game. They're just always getting dogs. Like, these guys deserve 
uh, how they played, and, and they played awesome. Like to everybody that was in this thing, I commend you. You guys all played awesome. There was no there was no shit talking. It was it was all fair play, and I think it went down really well. And we had like lots and lots of thousands of people watching us in the live stream and supporting us on Twitter, and uh, it was a good time overall. It was lots of fun. Um, so I hope that we see uh, more of this go down. I'd like to uh, be involved in more commentator showdowns type of deals. Um, if there's any players that you guys would like to see specifically in this, because we didn't really get like any of the, the major big hitters like Hutch or Cnanners or Tabe or any of those guys, um, but we had lots and lots of talent show up for this. And um, I think White Boy was invited, uh, but he ended up sleeping in because like I, I was trying to call him. I have White Boy's cell phone number, and uh, all morning while we were starting up the lobby, I was trying to call White Boy. I called him over and over and over on his cell phone. I texted him. I sent him a message on Skype, uh, but he just didn't wake up to come to this because this was at like... Uh, I think it was at 10 a.m. Eastern time, so it was at 8 a.m. my time. So I had to set an alarm for like 7.30 a.m. to get up and play this tournament. And uh, White Boy just slept through it, I guess. And X-Jaws played for a few games, and then he had to leave early to go get something done. Um, I don't think he's in this game. He was in the, the games before this, though. Uh, so X-Jaws was in here. I mean, Sandy Ravage. Sandy is a beast and a legend. He's just, man, if he if we were playing Modern Warfare 2 and, and he was allowed to use the Spaz-12, like, this would have been a shutout. Sandy is one of the craziest players on Modern Warfare 2 with a Spaz that I've ever seen. Um, and I look up to a lot of these guys. Like, a lot of the, these guys that are in here make uh, awesome videos. They're, they're great players um, and just good people all overall. So... Uh, it was a lot of fun um, doing some sniping here, as you can see, and I think I, I tomahawked Team Art too. I think it, it did like a little wall bank, and I tomahawked Team Art because hey. Team Art was just getting mad. Trevor, you get raped in this game, son. I got like three different. I got like a, a quick scope on you, that quick scope headshot while you were laying down. I got the tomahawk, and I think I got one more, uh, but I don't remember specifically where it is. Um, but I, I don't do well in this game, but I did well for using a sniper. I didn't think that I would pull 18 kills. Uh, with a sniper rifle, which was was really good for me for being up against a bunch of people using FAMASAs and stuff like that. So I was pretty happy with this game and I actually did better than one person. Now that one person happens to be Syndicate and uh, Syndicate got invited to play in this even though he's primarily a, a zombies player. He doesn't really play uh, Black Ops multiplayer all that much. So, so I'm not surprised that he was uh, at the bottom of the list for this game. But he, he's a really cool guy. I love Syndicate. He makes uh, awesome uh, zombies strategy guide videos and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's that's basically the summary of this whole uh, gameplay. It's wrapping up here. I think I get like one or two more kills, and then uh, the Mark of J just crushes the competition. And I think he went on to actually win this entire thing. So uh, congratulations to him. He came out with uh, 1,500 bucks and the the winner of the first Game Dunzo Commentator Showdown. Now, if you guys don't know what Game Dunzo is, GameDunzo.com. I'm not sponsored or being paid by them or anything like that to say any of this. I'm just doing this in case you guys don't know. Uh, Game, Dunzo, Game Dunzo is a website that's kind of like Game Battles or any of those other tournament websites where uh, you can play against other players um, for money. Uh, they do like hosted uh, uh, tournaments that actually have cash prizes um, and you can play with lots of different people and they actually, the, the best thing about Game Dunzo is that they have uh, dedicated servers which is what we were playing on in this game. So it's a, it's a server that uh, whether you're from the UK or the US or Canada or Australia, wherever you're from, you're still going to get at least a decent connection. I think most of the people in here had a 4 bar and I think there was very few people in here that had a 3 bar. I think uh, uh, the connection was, was really solid for this game. So that's the final game. I went 18 kills, 38 deaths, goddamn. <laughs> but I had a good time and that's all that matters. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, show it support by leaving likes adding this video to your favorites, leave me a comment, and uh, that would be awesome, and I hope you guys have uh, had a good time, and uh, expect more commentator showdowns in the future. I will see you guys later.